Hi guys, happy new year. Um, so uh, for the past couple of days, I've been uh, busy. Um, you know, a few hours here, a few hours there, is trying to finish the uh, add into the battery bank. And here it is, uh, I think I'm uh, finished. So uh, let's take a look. So, uh, as some of you might uh, watch my previous video, um, I have two row uh, on the bottom there. Um, now I've added the top one, uh, four more. Um, I decided uh, it's gonna go ahead and fill up the space and uh, you know get as much as I can get. So rated power, um, each one of them is uh, 16 cells, um, so that's about 60 to 64 volts. Uh, 16 cells and uh, each one of them is rated 3.1 kilowatts hours so I have 12 there so obviously rated power is about 37.2 kilowatts um, technically if I only charge it to 90% and then drain it down to 20 um, I can get the, out of the 37 kilowatts I can use about 26 kilowatts um, so that should be hope I'm hoping that's gonna be more than enough uh, so if you watch my previous video, you'll see that I had the um, the little bus bar uh, and all of the wire combine it so that I could parallel all of the the, um, the three sets together. Uh, the little that little bus bar right there I had in the corner, so obviously I have to remove that in order to put the the, the last battery in here. So if you haven't seen my previous previous video it's simple uh, each of this battery have a, the positives right here and the negative is all the way on the other side at the at the end of the battery so basically I have all of the negative combined in the back there uh, with just a jumper uh, wire so let's see so the this first one negative in the back jump to this one jump to this one and then jump to this one um, so uh, you can see out here clearly uh, I, the back I have to do wire because it's easier. There's no way I could use a, a bus bar like this But out here I use kind of a bar just to go right across and then I have all this is the positive on this side So all of the positives tied together. So basically the top row uh, Each row all tie in parallels together and then the same thing the second row is all tie in parallels together And it runs all the wire runs through there through the hole so let me close this and I will show you the combined box. So obviously I, when I remove that little bus bar, I have to come up with a new way to, um, to combine all of those, uh, th the three sets together. So I put this in. So I picked this up at a, a little surplus uh, deal that uh, they went out of business and they had a bunch of uh, uh, of you know um, boxes like this and I, I pick one up but let me show you the inside real quick so that's the inside and this is the one that took me the most time because I have to cut cut a bunch of hole um, obviously you see this big disconnect um, so let's just go from so those wire comes in here um, so this is 60 volt so it's still not it's, it, it can't kill me if I touch it so that's why you see the bare hand so um, so the negative uh, excuse the wire color obviously uh, this is all like I said all of these are salvage parts um, and, and, and cheap parts and stuff like that mostly salvage part out of the, the, uh, the battery themselves um, so you have to excuse the color but you have just have to imagine that this are negative because I wrapped it with black tapes. So this this is all of the negative. So one, two, three. So the first row, second row, third row, and it all goes onto this bus bar uh, or a, a, a DIY bus bar that I, I pull out of uh, uh, use out of the the fuse. So this is actually what you see over here. It's actually a fuse block that came out of the four C Max, and I happen to have a bunch of them so that's why I converted to kind of a bus bar so let me get the flashlight shiny too let's see a little bit better so all of the negative is combined there and then here's the positive um, all of the positive come in this side so again one two three have it labeled goes in this 220 amps fuse so 
same thing over here. I, this is just I just have the cover on so you can't see it, but so they all have the same fuse, 225 amps each. So each of the row of the battery you see comes in here is fused at about 225 amps, and they all get combined up here, three row, um, and they combine it go into this uh, big disconnect switch that I have here. This disconnect switch uh, is from a Nissan Leaf. Um, it's rated about 250 amps as well and they actually have another fuse uh, a fast uh, acting DC fuse that's inside of this and I do believe it's 225 amps as well um, so there's a big fuse in here but the reason why I at this end is just you know a quick disconnect a quick manual um, disconnect so to disconnect this is really easy. push this in here you lift up the the, the blue uh, lever here and it actually uh, push itself the connector will push itself as you lift this handle and then eject the uh, the uh, the connection and it would that would disconnect the battery and again I um, I added the battery meters in here so there's my battery meter and this basically just give me the state of charge or an estimate on the state of charge based on the voltage so you click that that will show me the voltage currently it's at 60.2 volts and it's 53 uh, so uh i've done a video on this meter before so if you want to check out this meter you can watch my previous uh, playlist and, and you can find it but um so 53 percent um 60 volts and the good thing is you cycle through it again it will turn off so it's a pretty good meter that it can turn itself off so there you go so that's just my uh my disconnect box i tried it to make to make it as nice and neat as possible and that look there that fits pretty good so everything looked nice and neat and uh, hopefully it's uh, I mean it was a lot of work you know it took me like three days um, trying to get everything out reroute all the cable do the all of the crimpings so basically I crimped the connectors and this is I always do these so I I crimp the connector first and then I use a torch and then I float solder into all of the joints just like how all of the Chevy connections out of the are the car battery that I pull off that's how they all are they are crimped first and then they float solder solid solder into the gaps so that's uh that's how you get all of the the super solid connection and it's not going to fall off or melt off or anything like that um so that's the uh, disconnect box let's go ahead and close it i think it turned out pretty good uh pretty clean and then going all over to this side i finally this morning finally take the time and just cut out a aluminum uh, sheet it's about three millimeter thick and then just seal off this hole so before I had the little voltage meter right here uh, I decided I put it uh, over to the uh, the battery combined box and then just seal off this hole uh, eventually I you know I'm gonna put some kind of dial in here that show me you know how much has been taken out of the battery maybe how much AC uh, power or how much uses I'm using all of these dial but I just haven't have time for that yet so that's why I just put this cover on and, and, and cover everything up just because before it was a big hole right here and you see all the bunch of the wire and stuff like that so let me back out let me show you the whole system so I think it looked nice and clean right now so I'm pretty pretty happy with it uh, very satisfying um, so everything is running so just to show you it's kind of it's I think it's a noon time right now and it's only uh, one kilowatt for this array and then another kilowatt for this array and then 500 watts uh, for the for this array so everything's working hopefully with my uh, my uh, battery bank uh, my 37 kilowatts hour battery bank it will be enough for me and then I don't have to worry about uh, it's getting too low and then need to uh, um, you know use the grid to charge it again so but I think this cabinet is like 48 by 48 yeah I think it's uh, 46 or something 45 by 48 inches and then it's about uh, maybe 16 inches depth 16 or 18 inches in depth and I was able to fit um, 
uh, what is it, 37 kilowatts hour in here. So I, th I think that's pretty impressive. Very small, limited space with a lot of power in it. And um, and hopefully this cabinet will, will protect it, you know, in case something goes wrong. But um, as many of you know that I don't personally use a BMS. So, um, I, so far it's, it's been fine for me. Um, so that's just different for everybody. Um, again, you know, I think that uh, I would love to say that this beat the uh, the Tesla power wall. Uh, from what I know, the Tesla power wall doesn't quite have the, the amount of power. But recently, I just found out that the Tesla power wall require internet in order to work. Um, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. At least my battery doesn't require the internet to work. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me about Tesla battery and blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, I've never dealt with Tesla battery yet. When the company first came out, or when I first heard the company, uh, I was very inspired by Tesla. But uh, as the years move on and, you know, they push out more products and all that stuff, I realize I'm not such a big fan anymore how the way how they, uh, uh, you know, they're corporate now. So I, I don't quite like that anymore. Um, so I'm not a big fan of Tesla anymore. Um, you know, for various reasons. I don't want to go into that. But anyway, I think that uh, my battery bank uh, somewhat beat Tesla Powerwall. Um, but the Tesla Powerwall, of course, has all, all of the safety and, you know, all of the BMS and blah, blah, blah. Maybe it has too much safety. It wouldn't even work without the internet. So what happens if you have an apocalypse and there's no internet? Uh, there goes your power too. So what kind of backup is it? It's not a really a backup power if it doesn't work without the internet because what if your internet goes out? Um, once in a while my internets go out even though it's pretty reliable just like the grid but my internet actually goes out more often than than the um, than the grid does you know so why would you reliable on reliably on the internet in order for your backup battery to work that's just insane so uh, anyway Thanks for watching guys. Again, if you subscribe, uh, please, uh, if you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I can uh, uh, push out more video more frequently. Again, I'm still working on that BMS video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about the, the BMS video, but uh, I've been trying. So just give me more time. Thanks for watching.